Hi, this is Naomi here, PhD student and aspiring science communicator. And today I want to share with you a really cool auditory illusion. So I absolutely love singing and performing. And for ages, I've been trying to think of a way to combine my love of singing with my passion for communicating the science of perception. And I think with this illusion, I finally cracked it. This is the speech to song illusion. So we tend to think of speaking and singing as being qualitatively different things. But have you ever stopped and thought really hard about what actually makes them different? What changes an utterance from being speech to song? And how do we describe vocalizations that seem to sit somewhere in the middle, like rap or performance poetry, for example? The speech to song illusion was discovered by Deanna Deutsch in 1995 when she was creating content for a CD and ended up accidentally listening to the same phrase on loop over and over and over again. What she noticed was that after several repetitions, the same phrase stopped sounding like speech and started sounding like song. You can listen to the original phrase, which led Deanna to discover the illusion on her research website, and the link is below, but I'm going to attempt to recreate it here. So without further ado, please enjoy listening to me repeating the same phrase over and over and over again. Sometimes behave so strangely. 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 So the first time you heard the phrase spoken, it probably sounded just like normal speech. But after a few repetitions, I bet you heard something a bit more like this. Sometimes behave so strangely. So the very fact that this illusion exists confirms what lots of people have thought for a long time, that there are strong linkages between speech and music. It suggests that speech and song don't have their own unique set of physical properties, but that the brain circuits that are responsible for speech and song perception can actually accept the same input, such as the phrase, sometimes behave so strangely, but then actually process that input in different ways to produce very different outputs. So when we hear the phrase once, we hear speech, but after a number of repetitions, we hear song. And one of the reasons why I think this is so cool is sometimes we hear people talking about neural plasticity in the brain and we tend to associate changes in the neural pathways in the brain as being something that happens over a long period of time when we spend time specifically learning a new skill or something similar but this shows that plastic changes in the brain can happen super quickly so that we can adapt our perception over time and then hear speech and song at different times.